Good day there, royal fans. Today's headline. Prince Charles has not seen his younger son, Prince Harry, in almost eight months. But they are back on speaking terms again, multiple sources reveal. The pair last saw each other in person at Prince Philip's funeral in April, and Charles, who has spent several days this week in Barbados, as it becomes a republic, has yet to meet his granddaughter Lilibet, born in July. Charles was hugely hurt when Harry and Meghan just dumped it on the family that they were giving up their roles and moving abroad. A royal insider shared, referring to Harry and Meghan Markle's decision to quit. The family. I don't think Harry and Charles talked for a good while, but now the channels of communication have opened. Still, the insider admitted, I don't think it's all roses. It's not like they are sitting down for a heart-to-heart -heart on the phone once a week. As reported last week, the new book, Brothers and Wives, by Christopher Anderson alleges that Charles unwittingly triggered a rift with Harry and Meghan, who is biracial, after asking his wife Camilla, what do you think their children's complexion might be? A spokesperson for Charles called the account fiction. Harry was brutally honest about his thoughts on his father during his and Meghan's bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey in March. He claimed that both his brother William and dad were trapped because of their roles and said Charles had left him financially buried. Harry alleged that Charles expected him to suffer as he had, adding that he was handed down a cycle of genetic pain and suffering. Just because you suffered, it doesn't mean that your kids have to suffer. That doesn't make sense, Harry said on his Apple Plus docuseries, The Me You Can't See. The Mail on Sunday had reported that father and son had planned to have a one-on-one -on -one dinner when Harry returned to Britain in June for the unveiling of a statue of his late mother, Princess Diana. But it's not believed this dinner actually happened. Harry and Meghan, Duke and Duchess of Sussex, have not been back to the UK together since their exit in March 2020. As has been reported, the couple and their two children, Lilibet and Archie, will not be joining the royal family, including Queen Elizabeth, for Christmas in the UK. But 2022 will be a huge year for the family, as palace staff have been finalising plans for celebration for the 95-year-old Queen's Platinum Jubilee in June, which will include a concert in the gardens of Buckingham Palace. Harry and Markle and their children are expected back for the celebrations. The Duke loves and admires his grandmother very much, a family source adds. That's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching and all your ongoing support. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more royal content. Goodbye for now.